ready, sir. I'll take that back. Let me make sure I can still see. Well, first of all, welcome. Is it on there good? Huh? Is it in there good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> well, welcome to Fort Wayne. But, um, being a former NBA player yourself, what can you bring to the coaching staff to help these players here on, uh, in uh, Fort Wayne? Well, hopefully there's a lot of stuff I can bring to the team and to the coaching staff. Uh, right now, Jeff Potter and Steve Gansey have asked me to kind of help out defensively a little bit, not be shy to open my mouth and to make little suggestions. And uh, I jumped right into it on Friday night. I, I, I was at home on Thursday morning. I, I flew out to Sioux Falls on Thursday night. So I've been having an absolute blast with the team. And... Um, you know, we lost Friday night, and then we were losing Saturday at halftime, and Steve said some really good things at halftime, and then I came in there and I said, you know, forget about scouting report and forget about whether your jumper's going in. We just got to go out there and compete a little more, and the guys did that. They went out there and they played much harder in the second half, and we won the game, which is really good to see. And then in today's practice, I don't know if you noticed, but the guys were going really hard, scrapping really, really tough, and if they can do that every game, 48 minutes a game, we're going to get off our, you know, our, our record of 8 and 13 or 8 and 14 that we are right now. We're going to do a lot better. So hopefully the guys will keep that up, that intensity level. What made you decide to, to get into coaching? Well, I love basketball. That's the main thing. And I can't play anymore. So what else are you going to do? You're going to start coaching. And uh, my father was a coach. And some of the people that I respect and love the most in, in, in my world, in my life, are coaches. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. I've been ha I started a basketball academy like two years ago and working with kids. And it's not as rewarding when they're 10 years old or 12 years old and they can't have success on what you're telling them. These guys in the D League, you just tell them something once or twice and they immediately have success in it. So that's, that's a lot of fun. You get instant results. What will be the next step for you after this? Or do you have any, any idea? I don't have any plans right now. I'm just trying to continue to work and uh, gain some coaching experience and help keep developing these, this team and the guys on this team. Um, like I said, I just joined, but I love the attitude of our team, and the guys are showing me a lot of respect, and I really appreciate that. Christian, could you talk about working with these guys and if, uh, now that you've got to, to meet them, be around them, if you're looking forward to some of the things that you can help, say, Darnell or Sean? I'm more than looking forward to it. I'm living it right now, so I just love it. Um, like I said, I had my own little academy where I was working with like 12 or 15 years old, and. And it's just not the same ty type of instant gratification, you know, instant feedback. So to work with these guys who are pro basketball players and you just have to tell them something once, it's so much fun. And um, all these guys are hungry. All these guys want to get to the next level. And that's, that's who you want to work with, people who are really hungry. What, what part do you feel you could add to the coaching of game day? What were some of the things you feel that you may be able to bring well, when, when I kind of did my interview with Jeff Potter and with Steve Gansey, we talked a lot about intensity and defense and energy and um, raising our competitiveness. And they're doing that. I don't know if you noticed in today's practice, but it was highly competitive. And uh, it's kind of easy to be competitive against yourselves, against your own brothers, you, you, the guys on your team that you're really close with. You got to carry it over and do it against the enemy, you know, when you're playing real games. So. And we did that in the second half in Sioux Falls on Saturday. And hopefully we can do it every game. And, and our record will get better, I think, if we can be that competitive in every game. Do you find that most people that meet you always want to talk about your college days? Not really. They want to talk about the Kentucky shot a little bit. But they, they talk about everything. Uh, you know, people don't forget about my NBA career. I did just fine in the NBA. Um, but the thing that is most foremost on their mind is maybe the Kentucky shot, especially as March Madness rolls around, and I'm sure the guys will get sick of seeing it pretty soon. Did you ever get tired of talking about that, or is it just a, a great time in your life that you do like to remember? No, I don't get tired of talking about it, because people usually smile when we bring it up, or when I talk about it, it brings back great memories. So um, maybe in 20 more years, I'll get a little tired of it. But right now, it's still a lot of fun. If you 
feel like uh, Coach Krzyzewski really helped you a lot as far as coaching? What your viewpoints on that from playing with him? Of course. The first person who helped me the most was my father when I was young. Uh, and then my high school coach, I had a very good high school coach, and then Coach K just took it to another level in terms of toughness and competitiveness and intensity. And um, that's the thing that really is probably the most important. So I'm preaching that a lot, and I think Steve, Steve Gansey likes that. Um, and like I said, today's practice was, I mean, I didn't even want to go out there because they were playing so hard.